When working inside Mosaic Designer, many times you'll be wanting to use multiple presets, sometimes spanning multiple groups or matrices. There's some great tools to help work with this. When we take an effect and add it to timeline, the first option we have is to extend that effect across multiple groups. To do this, hover over either the top or the bottom of the effect, click, and drag. This now links this effect across all of these different groups. You'll notice this is one large effect now. I can move it back and forth, and I have all the abilities that I normally have with a single timeline for this larger preset. If I wish to unlink this, I have two options. I can either right-click and hit Unlink, or I can hover over one of the lines and drag to remove a certain section. I now have one grouped effect, but it's spanning a number of groups and omitting this one in the middle. When I add multiple effects to a single group, the concept of latest takes precedence applies. So if I add an effect here and then add a different effect here, as soon as the transfer happens, it will change from one to another. If there are multiple fixtures spanning different groups, this gets a little bit more complicated. For instance, I have my pebbles here, and then I have my left and right pebbles. If I play an effect on my all pebbles, and then play a different effect on my left pebbles, we're going to have to consider some hierarchy. Right now, if I was to play this effect, everything would come on in red, and we would never actually see green. That's because this group is lower in the list. Think of these as pieces of paper stacked on top of each other. We only ever see the ones that are on top. Now, if I was to take this green one and start it just a little bit later, so I'll change my start time to one second here, and make sure it still has the same endpoint, we're going to get a slightly different effect here. When I play this, my red will start, and then my green will supersede. That's because going from left to right, Mosaic takes a latest takes precedence hierarchy. However, if I was to take my all pebbles group and duplicate it and make a new group, we get some other abilities here. I'm going to call this all pebbles 2. Now, when I put these right next to each other, we've got some more options. When I come in here and put in the green underneath, I now will see that my red will always play. If I take this group and raise it in my group list, then my green will now play. Whichever one's on top will play. Be careful doing this because your group order spans all of your timelines, and changing one in one timeline might cause you issues in the other. This is where offsetting a little bit could come into play and be helpful. When working with effects that use transparency, we need to keep this in mind as well. Let's say I put a rainbow on my all pebbles. If I put a sparkle above, I now have the option to set my sparkle to have a base transparent. When I play this effect, we'll see the rainbow playing, and then occasionally some sparkles on our fixtures. If I switch these two and put my sparkle on the bottom, we're not going to have the desired outcome. That's because the rainbow is on top and doesn't allow for any transparency. We need to make sure that the object that has transparency is on the top. It's important to keep hierarchy in mind as you're programming, and you might need to create some new groups or matrices to get the desired effects.